patient reported to the OPD with the chief complaint of fever, loss of appetite. Okay, he has severe pain with, while swallowing, develops blisters on hands, feet, and mouth after the initial symptoms. So identify the diagnosis. What should be the diagnosis in this case? So in this case, see the lesions. Uh, in the question itself, it is written hand, feet, and mouth. So that is the name of the disease here that the patient is suffering from. Okay, so answer would be hand, foot, and mouth disease. Okay, now we'll see some important points about this hand, foot, and mouth disease. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. The symptoms of this disease. The symptoms of the disease that is uh, like if you say the symptoms are generally like herpangina, the skin rash, oral lesions, they typically are associated with uh, flu like symptoms. Okay, flu like symptoms, flu like symptoms will be there like sore throat, dysphagia, fever. The patient is having dysphagia here. See, patient is having dysphagia. Okay, he is having fever, he has having loss of appetite, he is developing blisters on hand, feet and mouth after initial symptoms. So this is the basic mm, clinical, the typical clinical presentation of hand, foot and mouth disease and plus the lesions are also shown here in the image. Okay, so straightforward you can answer it as option 2 hand, foot and mouth disease. Now see hand, foot and mouth disease is a best known presentation of enterovirus. Important thing about this is it is an enterovirus infection. Okay. It is an enterovirus infection and like herpangina, skin rash and oral lesions, they will be associated with flu-like symptoms, okay. Now, the another features, another uh, symptoms that will be there, they will be like cough, cough, rhinorrhea, rhinorrhea, anorexia, anorexia, vomiting, diarrhea, okay, myalgia, Muscle pain will also be there and headache. Okay. So these are some other symptoms which are accompanied along with flu-like symptoms plus skin rash and oral lesions. The name, the name of the disease that is that fairly describes the location of the lesions. Okay. From this name only you can infer the location of the lesions that will be seen in this disease that is hand, foot and mouth. Okay. Now oral hand lesions are almost are always present. Oral and hand lesions they will be always present okay oral and hand lesions always present oral lesions they arise without prodromal symptoms and they will precede the development of cutaneous lesions so this oral lesions they come before the cutaneous lesions okay the cutaneous lesions they will be ranging from few do to dozens primarily affecting the borders of palm sole see palm sole Ventral surface and side of finger and toes. Ventral surfaces and side of finger and toes. Okay. So these are the typical sites of the lesions. Rarely other sites, especially buttocks, external genitals, legs may be involved. And these cutaneous lesions, they will be what? Erythematous macules. Erythematous, erythematous macules that develops central vesicles and these ves they will develop central vesicles okay and they will heal without crusting heal without crusting okay in some cases nail loss or ridges like nail loss and ridges like ridges are known as view lines and that may issue after several weeks okay so see important things about this the sore throat and mild fever usually that is present okay Oral lesions will be there, they are like herpangina, the lesions are like herpangina and cutaneous they will be ranging from few to dozens and they will primarily affecting the sites you should know, palm, sole, ventral surface and site of fingers and toes, erythematous macules are there which develop the central vesicle in those, central vesicle will be developing in those and that will heal without crusting, okay. So these are some important characteristics about this hand, foot and mouth disease. Now the treatment and prognosis we will see the treatment and prognosis of hand, foot and mouth disease. Now, you know that this hand, foot and mouth disease, this is caused by enterovirus. Okay. This is an enterovirus infection. Okay. So, this will be self-limiting. This will be self-limiting. Okay. Significant complications will not be there. This will be self-limiting. Therapy. Now, now patient is suffering from this and comes to OPD, then therapy should be directed towards symptomatic relief 
ओके सिम्टोमैटिक रिलीफ सिम्टोमैटिक रिलीफ एंड गिव नॉन एस्पेरिन एंटीपायरेटिक्स लाइक इफ द पेशेंट इज हैविंग फीवर गिव नॉन एस्पेरिन एंटीपायरेटिक्स बिकॉज इट्स अ वायरल इन्फेक्शन ओके सो गिव नॉन एस्पेरिन एंटीपायरेटिक्स टॉपिकल एनेस्थेटिक्स बिकॉज ड्यू टू दिस अल्सर्स इन माउथ हरपन जाना लाइक लेजेंस आर देयर मल्टीपल अल्सर्स मल्टीपल एप्थी विल बी देयर सो टॉपिकल एनेस्थेटिक्स यू हैव टू गिव ओके सच एज टॉपिकल एनेस्थेटिक्स एग्जाम्पल दैट इज डाइक्लोनिन डाइक्लोनिन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड ओके दीज आर ऑफ एन बेनिफिशियल सो बेसिकली दैरेपी इज रेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द सिम्टोमैटिक रिलीफ ओके ना ओकेजनली सर्टन स्ट्रेन्स दे प्रोड्यूस इन्फेक्शन विद अ मोर एग्रेसिव क्लिनिकल कोर्स द बॉडी टेम्परेचर अब वन जीरो टू डिग्री फेर एन हाइट और फीवर लॉन्गर दैन थ्री डेज सीवियर वॉमिटिंग लेथार्जी सो दीज विल बी एसोसिएटेड विद इंक्रीज रिस्क ऑफ सीरियस डिजीज कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड क्लोज पेशेंट मॉनिटरिंग शुड बी डन इन दोज केसेस ओके सो नाउ सी इन दिस केस द the question itself is giving the clear clinical picture of the disease plus the image is also attached here plus now we have seen all the symptoms all the clinical features which appear in this disease okay so on the basis of that see option 2 that is the correct answer here hand foot and mouth disease that is the correct diagnosis